Hey guys, what's up? It's John here, and today I'm bringing you the first of our 7 Celestial Weapons videos. First things first though, I'm going to be doing each of these videos in a 4 step order. The first step will be collecting the weapon, followed by collecting the crest for that weapon which is going to be located in a chest somewhere in Spira. The third step will be winning the sigil in some sort of challenge. And finally we'll be upgrading the weapon at the end in the Makalani Woods. Now for Titus, the first step is to beat the Chocobo Trainer in a race. But, before we have the option of doing that, we have to train a Chocobo through three of her courses. Once you do that, you'll have the option of the Catcher Chocobo course. This is the option you have to choose to challenge the trainer to a race. The first time you choose this race, you'll have to sit through an explanation of how the race will go. The important things to know are that the finish line is at the entrance to Mount Gagazette, there are balloons that you can collect along the way of the race. These balloons will shave off 3 seconds of your time. And finally, there are birds that will attempt to hit you just like they did in the last training course. They will add 3 seconds to your time whenever they hit you, and will also stun you. The Catcher Chocobo race isn't necessarily hard to win. You should shoot to get about 6 to 10 balloons in this, but you don't really want to go out of your way to get them. Your main goal is to stay ahead of the trainer, but you know, if she does get ahead of you, try to use her as a human shield. It's kind of funny, and it might help you dodge a bird or two. Usually though, if you reach the finish line before she does, after all the balloons and birds are tallied up, you'll end up coming out with a better score. Now that we've completed the race and beat the trainer, you'll notice a man standing here looking at us. This is the man that has been blocking the entrance to Titus' celestial weapon. Normally, he wouldn't let you go down there for some dumb reason, but he'd leave a clue that if something exciting were to happen, he'd have to watch it. Hint hint, beating the chocobo trainer. I'm not sure why I didn't get a chocobo from the trainer, but instead I chose to walk all the way around the calm lands. There's a slope in the top left corner of the calm lands that you can see on the map that contains Titus' weapon. Titus' weapon is located at the end of this slope. You'll find a spot on the wall where you have the option of using the Celestial Mirror. Once you say yes, we get to go through a cutscene and collect the weapon. And that's the end of step one. The second step is finding the crest, which like I said before is located in a chest somewhere in Spira. Each chest is located somewhere meaningful for each character's storyline. Titus's crest is located in the Xanarkin Dome where you fought Unaleska. If you have the international version, I cannot stress enough to get his crest directly after the fight with Unaleska. Because once you are aboard the airship again, the Dark Aeons spawn, and you'll have to defeat Dark Bahamut to get it. Which isn't gonna be easy at all. So, we're halfway done. Now we have to get the sigil, which means it's back to the Chocobo racing. This time, we aren't just looking to beat the Chocobo trainer though. We're looking to finish the race with zeros across the board. We're trying to get a perfect time. This is going to require a bit of luck at the spawn of the race. You'll need the first balloon to spawn closer to you than it is to her. This way, when the race does start, she'll try to turn to reach the balloon, and you'll already have a lead on her so it'll be easier to get the rest of the balloons on the first leg of the race. Now, it's important to collect all the balloons on this first leg, because no birds show up during this stretch. You want to finish the race around 30 to 35 seconds, and you'll need to collect between 10 to 15 balloons. Once the birds spawn, however, you want to start focusing more on dodging the birds rather than collecting the balloons and making your way to the finish line. This challenge is not going to be easy. <laughs> In all reality, it could take you hours to complete it, or if you're lucky, you might get it on your first try. It took me about 10 tries to get the sigil for this video. It took me maybe about half an hour altogether. Once you complete this race though, she'll give you a prize for beating your previous time, and then she'll give you the sigil for getting the perfect time. So now it's time for step 4, which means we get to go to the tree in Makalania and power up Titus' newly found weapon. You'll have to go through the motions twice, once to power it up with the crest and once to power it up with the sigil. Once you do that, it'll attain full power, and you'll have completed your first celestial weapon. I hope this video helped you guys out. Leave a comment if there was anything that I left out. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.